So I got a ton of questions asking me about how do I get on with my journey in the correct way when it comes to trading? So in this video, I've specifically laid that out for you. Let's get started. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the webinar. My name is Naveen Prithiani from urbanforex.com. I'm the senior trader here at urbanforex.com. And here we are with yet one other webinar on talking about how to get started in trading. So for today, we wanted to talk about what's the next step to take? What's the next step to take? What I'm gonna do today, okay, as a very special webinar, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk you through how I did my journey on the charts, okay? Every time you see something you can relate to, say I, I. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you exactly the process I went through. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start, open up the whiteboard. All right, here's how I started my journey, okay? Because I'm gonna show you what's gonna go on in your journey if you begin, and how do you come out of that journey and how do you think in the right way? 50 minutes on the clock, the goal is to take you from the journey until the end and how to solve it, okay? 50 minutes on the clock, let's start. Here we go. All right, here is where it all begins. In the beginning, you see a movement in the markets and you're learning how to trade. You're learning how to trade and you're like, okay, trading is a matter of buying low, selling high. We're like, cool, I got it. Buy low, sell high, got it, got it, it's on my mind. Then you learn about if I buy and the price goes up, I make pips, I make pips. And the pips is multiplied by my lot size and then that's how much money I made. So far so good, you guys with me? Okay, so we're learning all this stuff. We're like, cool, cool, got it. And then we look at our charts and we see this. Okay. Okay, when we see this, my eye in the early parts of my journey, the only thing I'm attracted to is this. I don't see anything else. It's like I'm blind to everything else. The only thing I see is that, and I start getting curious of how do I buy that? How could I have bought that? My journey begins. My journey begins. I'm curious about how to do that. Even though all this was a movement as well, I'm not interested in that. I want that rocket. I want that rocket of a launch. And I start doing, hmm, this was 19 pips, 20 pips, 20 pips based on my lot size would mean this amount of money. That amount of money every week would mean that amount of money per month. Wow, that's a lot of money. So begins the dreams. So begins the dreams. And the dreams are beautiful because in these dreams, I'm in a jacuzzi <laughs> in some casino with Ferraris parked outside that matches every shoes that I have, every shoe color that I have. It's like, oh man, if I can only do this, my journey begins. So fast forward a little bit into my journey. I can't seem to grab it. I can't seem to grab it. I buy it, price goes down. I buy it, price goes down. I buy it, price goes down. So then I'm like, hmm, my stop loss is too tight. Now I buy it, big stop loss. Prices go up, yes, I made money. I made money. This is early stages of my journey. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm so happy. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of money. Further down the line, same thing happens. I buy it. This time, it doesn't go up. I have a wide stop loss, but prices come down and stop me out. This time, I lost a lot of money because I didn't understand anything about position size and money management. I had no idea. I just traded my normal one standard lot, as I was always doing. I had one standard lot here, one standard lot here, one standard lot here, and then I made money. I was like, whoa, I made $1,000 so quickly. That's my salary. I did that in 30 minutes. My dreams started coming on further. I'm like, oh man, imagine if I can do this every day. Imagine if I can do this every week, what can happen? Okay. So that's where the dreams begin until I experience this. 
I made a huge loss. Now I'm scared a little bit. Journey co continues. Then I realize, okay, you know what? I need to lower my lot size. Now I buy it. I lowered my lot size. I get a loss. Okay, hits my stop loss. I get a loss. Okay, I understand that. Later down the line, I buy it. I have my stop loss here, but I make profit and then I close it. And I start to realize that's it. That's all the money I made. It's not worth it with the small, small lot size. I need to increase my lot size. That's the next part of my journey. How many of you guys can agree so far? It almost feels, what's the point? It's not worth it. It's I'm wasting time. Increase the lot size, increase the lot size. I increased the lot size and I'm going through the process of, I made a loss again. Now I'm, I've probably blown up an account by now. I don't remember so long ago. I probably blown up an account by now. And I'm like, okay, okay. I did something wrong, but I'm smarter now. I'm smarter now. Broker, here's my credit card, redeposit money. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Fast forward down the line. I continue down my journey, continue down my journey. I do smaller lot size, but I hear about this thing called Martingale strategy. I'll trade smaller. If I have a loss, I'll trade a bit bigger. If I have a loss, I'll trade a bit bigger. And if it wins, I win. Only to realize that is the worst thing on the planet. Have you guys agreed? So after the first loss, I trade bigger. After the second loss, I trade even bigger. It's almost I lose all consciousness of what's happening. Now I'm going to pause right here and I'm going to ask you a, a question before I draw again. In any of the stuff I just did, did I trade? I didn't trade. All I did was I chose a location that I thought was okay, and I negotiated with my brain. That's all I did. Zero analysis, zero preparations, zero execution. I just got in with the hope of it better work, and then I'm negotiating with my brain. I'm saying, if it goes up, do this. If it goes down, buy more. What's the logic behind this? What's the trade? Zero, zero logic. So far, so good? You guys agree? I have no clue what's going on. I'm not trading. I'm just trying stuff. I'm just randomly trying stuff, but with money, more money, less money, more money, less money, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Take it a step further. Here we go. Let's take that journey further down. I have now approached a level of acceptance. Now this level of acceptance, I think this was like a few years down the line. I've come under acceptance, this word. Okay, I started to actually believe that now because I'm starting to understand, I don't know how the market works. I actually suck at this. Okay, but when my peers ask me, hey man, you're doing that trading stuff, how's it going? Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it, it takes time, it's okay. I can't even say it out loud that I suck. I'm so embarrassed by it that I can't even say it with my mouth that I'm horrible. I just delay it, I'm like, it's fine, it takes time. <laughs> Okay, so we finally mentally accept we're horrible at this. All right, further down, let's go down further down into the journey. Now begins the search. Now the search begins. If I don't know, someone must know. If I don't know, someone must know. And that's when I've encountered all of these things. Okay. Okay, let's add one more piece. So far, so good. You guys know this part of the journey? Oh, yeah, well, we can add one more. That's correct. Sorry, uh, Leroy, that's correct. Books are here as well. So now, you are looking for gurus who can help you. If gurus are expensive, you torrent their material. <laughs> right? You've gone through that? Then you go for signal services. 
you're like, okay, just tell me what to do. I'll do it because my confidence is shattered. You tell me what to do. I'll just do it. Manage the account. You know what? Take my money, take 50%. I don't care. Just give me profit in return. Okay. Automated trading robot. So appealing because it tells us your emotions is what's causing you problems. And you're like, you know what? You're right. I am going crazy when I trade. There's so much fear and greed, but it does make sense. A robot has no fear and greed. So a robot should be able to make more money. It makes so much sense. Why don't we do that? We go through that process and we're reading every book underneath the sun. We're saying, okay, this book has the word trading on it. Let's open it up. We go to the library. There's so many books. We go straight to the finance section and we're like, let's look for the word trading or technical analysis. And let's open that book up and let's see if there's an answer somewhere. Look for the ones that have pictures. <laughs> look for the ones that have pictures in them. Okay. So we can see, can we spot a pattern that we can pick up quickly by looking at that book and saying, got it. So far, so good. You guys agree? This is the next stage of the journey. The search for the answer. Notice in this whole journey, I haven't quit. How? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's, it's like it's something held me tight and saying, stay put. Do not quit. Stay put. I'm quite surprised when I look back and I see all this. I'm like, I, I, how I didn't quit, I have no idea. I've been burned so many times with all of this stuff, and I still stayed strong and kept going at it. Kept going at it. Okay. The average person quits somewhere along these lines or after one or two blown accounts. The average person will leave and saying, you know what? This industry is too nonsense. It's too much for me. I'm out. So far, so good. Relatable so far? Yes, I eyes. Excellent, excellent. Fast forward down the line in the journey. I come to an acceptance, further acceptance. It's not easy. I finally accept that, that it's not easy. It takes a little bit of time. But notice I still didn't quit. I still didn't quit. Even after I came to this conclusion of it's not easy, it's going to take some time. I could have quit because I was in under the impression Forex trading is easy. It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut to happiness. It's a shortcut to freedom. It's a shortcut to life. But once I came after doing all of that stuff in my journey and I came to acceptance that it's not easy, I then went further to say, okay, well then I know so much about this. Can I go further? Can I go further? So I didn't quit. I'm, again, I'm quite surprised why I didn't quit when I knew it's not easy and I was looking for a shortcut. This is the area where you will become two people. Okay. One part, okay, from the crowd, one part will go and become a fake guru at this stage. One part will go and become that. The other part will say, F it, let's do this, okay? This guy will go onto YouTube when he can't make it and he says, well, I can at least make some money um, selling a signal service or doing something, uh, let's just scam people. The other part of the person at this stage when he recognizes it's not easy, says, you know what? Screw this, let's do this, I can do this. That is the turning point in your career. When you start understanding how the entire industry works and you have that flip of a switch and you're like, all right, from this moment onwards, enough is enough. I need to learn how this stuff works. I need to learn how this stuff works. Okay. That is a very few of you. 90% will switch to this side or will quit. 10% of you will come here and that is the ones to me are diamonds in the sky. They're diamonds. Those are the ones we look for. Those are the ones we look for. Okay? Because they're the ones that are perfect for the prop firm that we do as well. Anyways, further going down further down into the journey. So far so good. I went down the route of here. Effort. Let's do this. 
Okay. At that time, I had Urban Forex. Urban Forex was a free service back in the day. It was free. I didn't even charge anything for it. It was absolutely for free. Okay. If you do a look back machine or whatever, it was a free service. I was willing to help anybody who wanted to help because I was learning so much information that I was happy to share that information. But I myself didn't have an idea of which information comes first, which information comes next. It was all over the place. It was all over the place. Okay. Moving it forward, further down the journey. How many of you guys agree this journey is very similar to yours? Now, notice by saying, by because a lot of you guys are saying me right now, right? A lot of you guys are saying I, I. The journey is very, very similar to you guys. That means to tell you that you are not alone in this. Everybody goes through this process, unfortunately. Okay, so far so good. In this process, the scammers get rich because during that process, remember when we talked about the guru, the signal services and this and that, the scammers get rich, but I, I want you to understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now. When I say the scammers get rich, do you know what I mean by rich? We're talking 100,000 US dollars to 1 million maximum maximum but the guys who come onto this side and they make it you add as many zeros as you want they are set for life they are set for life if regulation comes in these guys will disappear and all those ferraris they bought they have to sell them because they don't know how to make money otherwise you see very tricky very dangerous for those people they're going to disappear they're going to disappear okay Shall we go further down? All right, here we go. There we go, further down the journey. Don't keep your eye on the small $100,000. Go, go, go big, go big or go home. If that's your attitude, don't mess around with a small income of $100,000. You can do much, much better, much better. If you have the brains to somehow scam people and become their guru, you have the brains to actually let all that go, become a trader, which means don't go down that dirty route. Be good, be good, be good. Okay, you'll sleep better also. Okay, here we go, moving it forward, moving it forward. Further down the journey, now comes education. In this educational process, we start to learn technical analysis. Okay, oops, you get what I mean, technical analysis. Okay, from the technical analysis, you learn a bit about fundamentals. For me, fundamentals was a pain in my butt. Okay, so much economic stuff. There's no timing, I realized. I can't time fundamental stuff. That took me a while to finally realize there's no point of doing this because there's no timing. Okay, I can't have a news release and I'm there. I'm like, I know what that means. No, you can't time it. If you can't time it, you can't know where your stop loss is going to be. If you don't know where your stop loss is going to be, how are you going to make risk to reward? Out of, out of question, no fundamentals for me. Okay, I can understand it, but I don't need to trade it, especially because when the fundamental news are released, spreads widen. There's too much whipsaw. I'm also fighting the broker at this time. Okay, got it. So this is not for me. Got it. Technical analysis. What do I understand about technical analysis? Okay, prices go up. That means whatever was resistance now becomes support. Prices come down. And it's supposed to hold support and resistance and go back up. Ooh, I like technical analysis because wherever I draw my line, sometimes it seems to hold. I get very attracted to this. I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. Further down the journey. Here we go. Further down the journey. That beauty. How come it didn't work this time? I don't understand. How come it didn't work this time? Okay. Further education. Further education. Something's wrong with my technical analysis. Am I reading something wrong? Do I need a moving average? Do I need a MACD on the bottom? Do I need an RSI? Ah, 
further down my education, I realized I'm missing this. I'm missing a filter. I need something to tell me yes, something to tell me no. So then what I do is I now have my support resistance, but then my RSI is below an X number. And we're like, ah, oh, that's the filter. I'm not supposed to buy if my RSI is below here. Cool, 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 cool. Later to realize filters don't work either. How many of you guys have gone through that journey or are at that journey right now? It seems highly intelligent to filter something, but it actually is crap, right? It's actually garbage. Okay, we feel extremely intelligent. Whoa, man, like I have four filters. I am making mineral water out of this. <laughs> it's like, but you can have all kinds of filters, all kinds of indicators. You're watching every indicator webinar out there and you're like, oh yes, yes. I'm going to apply that mm, VWAP, mm, supply and demand, oh, no, 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 no. like a cookie monster, like, ah, give it to me. <laughs> it's like, so all kinds of stuff are coming towards you. You're like, yes, yes, yes. I'll take that also. And then suddenly you start realize you have all kinds of indicators on your screen. Let me take you a step back. In this entire process, did you trade? Did you trade? No. Because right now, you have no idea what's going on. You're simply looking in your journey for one answer, profit. Let me tell you this. If I tell you this glass made me $1 million and you go out there and you say, make a glass, 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 make a glass because you're more focused on getting that 1 million rather than I wonder how this industry works. Ah, that was the next part of my journey. Back to basics. How the hell, okay, how the hell does Forex work? Let's fast forward a couple time, couple, couple moments down the line. And I started realizing one thing. Forex has a currency pair, Euro, against something. Unlike stocks, stocks go in one direction. Let's say this is Apple. Okay, stocks can go in one direction. If you buy, you can buy and hold it for dear life and saying, come on, baby, come on, baby, for 10 years and you'll still be okay. You can't do come on, baby, come on, baby on this. Interesting. But if I look at a daily chart, I can see on a daily chart, maybe one of my currency pairs have gone from here to here. But if I look at it every day, it's like this. Ah, oh, that's fascinating. It doesn't move in one direction. Okay. So that rocket launch that I was so attracted to when I started my career, garbage, throw it out the window. I don't want it. I don't want to ever see it again. Oh my God, this opens up a whole new thing. My entire journey was looking at the wrong thing because I was so attracted by this makes the most profit. So why not do what makes the most profit? Oh my God, light bulb moment went on for me. Okay, I'm starting to understand the Forex industry. I'm starting to understand the Forex industry. It's starting to make sense. It's starting to make sense. Okay, moving it forward, moving it forward. Moving it forward. Prices started to move up. And then I had this moment and I was like, perfect. Okay, if I get a pullback, I'd like to buy it because buy low, sell high. You know, I know that concept and it makes sense. Buy low, sell high because, you know, that's how you make money. Good, 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 good. Then I'm buying low. I'm trying to sell high and the prices crash on me. Later to realize you're buying low as per him, but as per him, you're still buying pretty high up there. Oh my God, click. I'm starting to understand trading a little bit more. I'm buying still pretty, pretty high. You see how this journey evolves for you? You know how all the stuff happened? I met a handful of people who are underground and they said, dude, you have so much knowledge, but all your knowledge is useless. Let me point you in the right direction. And that's all they had to do 
is it gave me a little glimpses of how the industry actually works. And then my brain was able to pick up the pieces and move on from there. And things I haven't looked back since. I haven't looked back since. So what I'm trying to ask you guys today is if you're pointed in the wrong direction and then you get pointed in the right direction, can you pick up the pieces and say, oh man, I've been doing this all wrong. It's starting to make sense. This is how I'm supposed to do it. So let me ask you this now. Prices go up, go up, go up, go up. This is a 60 minute chart. Then prices pull back. So far, so good. You guys with me? On the five minute chart, on the five minute chart, that pullback that you see is like this. And you're like, oh, mama mia, look at that. Buy low, sell high coming up, baby. Buy low, sell high. So we're trying to get ready to buy this. But at the same time, when we're getting ready to buy this, do you notice where you're buying in the context? Okay, you see, sometimes a, a time frame that we're looking at doesn't adjust with a higher time frame. So it's like, okay, okay, so I see that's a problem there. Then going forward, further down my journey, I start to realize, okay, can't do that, can't do that. All right, so I got to be more careful on when I'm buying and where my pullbacks are. And if it is really a true pullback, or if it's an illusion. Then I started realizing something that was fascinating to me, which is called traps. I was like, what is a trap? What is a trap? I've always heard of this concept of fake outs, right? You guys heard of the word fake out? This would be prices would go up, they would fake it and it would come back down. That's a fake out, right? Everyone understand that? Like, they tr they look like they were breaking the range, but they didn't. So it's like, ha, ah, just kidding. Okay. Fast forward down the line a little bit. This took me a very long time to understand. There are three stages of the markets, right? We all know the three stages. There is a trending state. There is a channel state, which is very, very deep pullbacks, very, very deep. But it goes higher. And then there's a ranging state, which is sideways it's like i'm not interested in doing anything just going sideways it's like very depressed person right just sideways no mood whatsoever <laughs> super happy less happy dull so far so good if you want to memorize it like that all right what state are you in are you in the happy state less happy or dull okay just keep it simple okay all right now inside a range when that range breaks out I am now interested in seeing, is that breakout for real? Because remember, I have now evolved beyond technical analysis. Technical analysis says, ooh, fake out. Fake out means the buys have failed. I have gone beyond technical analysis at this stage of my journey. I now understand and see things an average person cannot see because he's working with a pattern. I now ask the question, if we really broke out, is this a channel? Is prices going to come here, bounce, and resume back up? Ah, I would never buy in the face of a fake out in the past when I was a technical analysis person, but now things are different. Now I think of things in a different way. Another thing, when I started to understand a lot of this stuff, is like, okay. Well, having that said, if the prices break out like this, well, that's pretty strong. I don't think that's going to be a channel. If they pull back, can I buy from this support resistance? Yeah, seems like I'm early. The move just began and I'm buying the next move. It's not like I'm buying it here. So I'm early. Okay, so I understood the concepts of early and late. I started to get that concept. It's like, they're both the same thing. They're both pullbacks. They're both discounts. They're both a better deal. They're both buy low, sell high. But that buy low, sell high is stupid. 
this buy low sell high is awesome ah it's starting to click starting to click okay technical analysis pattern identical here identical there in the pattern wise logic wise not identical not identical you guys started to get that we're 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 30 minutes into the webinar are things starting to click where you are in your journey as you get further and further into your journey do you start to see that the answer is not a signal service the answer is not technical analysis education the answer is do you know how the markets operate if you understand that even the word price action sounds ridiculous to you. It's like it's just another word. It's another, you know, stage of the industry. The industry went through multiple stages, right? If if you guys have been in, in this industry long enough, as I have, I can tell you the waves. The wave started indicator wave. Then the wave started uh, after indicators. There was automated trading systems. Then the wave started price action, baby. If you're not a price action trader, you're nobody. Then the wave started those bat patterns. I don't know what this nonsense was for a while. Like, oh yeah, that A, B, C, D, Q, F, G, bat patterns, bat this, bat that. Okay. And then you had dinosaur patterns coming out. And now we're over here and now we're saying funding. Now this is the new phase of the market. It's like, okay, if you're not funded, you're nobody. You're useless. No capital, you're zero. You should go home. Now it's a new new thing to intimidate you. You see the waves of the market. It always changes the new fashion from bell bottoms to skinny jeans to ripped jeans and so on and so forth. But it's still the damn jeans. You need to understand the jeans, not the fashion of the jeans. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Learn Forex, learn how to trade and not the, the criterias of trading. Okay. So far, so good. Does that make sense? Does it hit the nail on the ha Does the hammer hit the nail on the head properly this time? Does it click? Do not run after the illusion. Run after the, the core, the core of the thing. All right. Excellent. I can see a lot of you guys are really focused. I I'm sorry if I'm getting all riled up and everything like that. It's, it's because I spent so much bloody time on this in the past. I wish I can skip all that. I could have been 10 times richer than I am now. Like I wasted so much time in the past going through nonsense after nonsense after nonsense that I'm so angry that I had to open up Urban Forex. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it that, you know, me and my team were like, I don't care how much money you guys make on the team. I need to get out there, sit there on the emails, answer questions. You want to be part of Urban Forex? Help the other people out, otherwise you're fired. Like. It's something personal to me because it's such a bad experience. It's such a bad experience. Okay. That's the whole purpose of my firm. It's, it comes from me. Like it's, it's a mission to me that I don't want this feeling for everybody. It's horrible. And this is why we have the highest rated reviews, right? On the internet, you know? So it's, I hope you guys can understand where I come from and why I get riled up in these moments. But the intention is, I got to get you the right information as quickly as possible in a shorter amount of span of time. Now, whether it doesn't click or clicks, I cannot control that. But I am trying my level best to learn how to teach, how to be better, so I can make sure it clicks. It clicks. You know, it's like, okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. You know? So far, so good? Let me ask you one thing here, actually, before, before I continue the next part of the journey. Well, one more question. I'm always curious to see how many of you guys here are actually students of mine or are new. Here's the results. So I can see 80% of you guys are actually students at Urban Forex and 20% of you guys are not. Can I ask a simple question? Those of you guys who are 80%, I know you guys are set. I know you guys are on the right track. You guys are going to make it. No, not, no doubt about that. Those of you guys, the 20% of you guys who are in this room who are not students at Urban Forex, can I ask you a simple question? Is everything I'm saying today making sense? We've been in this webinar together 40 minutes. The key is not, can I get you the information? The key is, can I get you the right information in the shortest span of time? Can I make it interesting enough to get it inside your head and lock the doors and saying, now it's with you forever, don't worry. 
So that's what we're trying to do. That's our mission here. That's our mission here. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. We we'll keep going. I'm we're gonna clock it. Every webinar we clock it, right? We're gonna see how much information can I get you in that 60 minute time. All right, here we go. Moving back to the white whiteboard. So far, so good. Yeah. All right, all right. Again, this is a webinar, it's not a concert. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are happy and excited and really, really having a great time. I want you to still focus on learning rather than like cheering and going crazy, you know, like, <laughs> okay, moving forward, moving forward. So journey proceeds, journey proceeds, journey proceeds. Fast forward another two to three years. I now have things coming like this and I'm buying a lot. I'm buying with size. I'm buying with a lot of capital. 10 years ago, the earlier Naveen would be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you buying if the markets are collapsing? It's like, well, because I'm aware that the higher time frame, we're doing that. I can't see it on this chart because my screen is this big. Oh, okay. But what does that even mean? How do you know it's gonna be a buy? Ah, there are ways to know. There are ways to know, okay? There are ways to know how it's a buy. That takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of understanding of why things resume back up, why people sell hard. That has a little bit of understanding of the, psycho the psych psychology of how people trade. And you can actually put that into a science and saying, I know what they're gonna do next, buy it. I know what they're gonna do next, sell it. In fact, sell it hard, sell it hard, hard, hard. To, to get to that point of confidence, years down the line what is the next step forward once you get a bit of confidence and you understand how to trade what is the absolute next step forward i'm gonna put it in programming language if confidence then size if the word is then retire then obviously you're not a trader you're just wasting time the only logical direction a trader can go is this so if you are unfortunately stuck with a mentor who doesn't size up regularly, you can know if he's trading micro lots or mini lots, run, run far, run fast, never look back. They got to trade size and that size better keep growing higher and higher and higher. Okay. And that's how you know they're either going to teach you the right thing or give it two years. That size is going to kill them and they're going to go bankrupt. <laughs> it's it's a short shot way to know you're getting your way at least <laughs> yeah fast forward down the line okay sorry not confidence fast forward down the line journey this is something i never used to do and i started to understand about this post analysis what the hell is a post analysis okay what is a post analysis when i see the word pa i think personal assistant you know it's a pa you know it's, it's someone's secretary but what is a post analysis? Okay, that took me a while to understand. I'm already starting to do better than before, but I wasn't as better until I understood this word, post analysis. And what post analysis is, is you do one trade as perfectly as possible, as perfectly as possible. And wh whether that trade is right or wrong, whether you buy it or you sell it, whether the trade is right or wrong, you pause and you recap and you say, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Understand that, talk about how you're gonna fix it and then move on to the next trade. That did wonders for me, absolute wonders. Because I'll tell you what kind of guy I was in my journey before, I'll tell you. And you tell me if this is you. I do a trade, if it didn't work, Ah, okay, let me check another pair. I'm looking at another pair. Oh, that looks good. Next trade. Ah, if that's not working or if I had a loss, ah, next trade. Ah, that one worked. Okay, cool. That one worked, no problem. If I can just do this every single day, I'll be fine. I was so happy about it. Okay, trade number four right after. This time, bigger size. Bigger size made money. Excellent. Next trade, go extremely big size because I made money and I want to end the day strong. Big loss comes in, now I'm sad. In this moment when I'm sad, I never look back at these trades. I automatically assumed I know what I did wrong. 
I already did those shorts. I know what I did wrong. Why do I need to look at it again? How many of you guys have go are going through that process now? You don't understand the power of post -analysis. You need to stop and look at what you just did and talk about it. Make a video of yourself. Talk about it and talk about everything that you've done. You'll be surprised of how, even though you were the person who took that trade, when you do a post analysis, you will pick up on things you didn't do when you were there live. A whole new door, a whole new world opens. That really kicked it off for me. From the guys who were in the panel earlier from the um, podcast, if you hear Armo especially, he, he's in our elite community and he will say this time and time and time again, post analysis, post analysis, post analysis. If you're in the firm, Ian is supervising the prop firm side. If you miss the post analysis twice in a row, you're fired on the spot. I don't care how good of a trader you are. You miss two post analysis, you're out. That's how important it is, okay? No one's, no one's been fired yet, so don't feel bad. <laughs> but that's how seriously we take it is, is what I'm trying to portray. I'm not saying, oh, we're an evil company. We're just firing people left and right. No, we only hire people that we know will do post analysis. So no one gets fired, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Now, if this is the journey, let me ask you one thing about the journey. Okay, let me ask you one thing. So the current state of the market, the new fashion, what do we say? What's the latest fashion? in the market right now. What's the latest fashion? Funding. Funding is the latest fashion. If you don't have funding, you're nobody. That's the way they make you feel, right? If you don't have funding, you're, you're nothing. You're useless, you're garbage, right? So we have a funding program ourselves. Here's the thing. We don't charge for it. We support our traders and we don't pick anybody off the street, okay? Again, we don't charge for it. That sounds stupid because why is it stupid? If you're gonna make me money and my company money, why am I gonna charge you money for it? That doesn't make any sense. It's like you coming to an interview and paying money for it. Why would you do that? So we don't believe in that, okay? That doesn't make sense. Many others can. Application fees and charges for processing the paper. I get that, I get that. We don't do that. We support our traders. If you're not doing so well, or there's some mistakes here and there, day or night, you get on a call with who? With me directly. We fix things, we fix things, we get you better, but we don't pick anyone off the street. You gotta be UF certified. You gotta be gone through the urban Forex process because I need to know you know. Once you do that, then we put you on a probation period and we say, all right, Let's see if we can get you in. And if we can get you in, this is not 10,000, 50,000. It's unlimited. Okay? Funding can even be proven by us to you by account statement saying this much funding is available in the bank for you to take right now if you qualify. It is not, we'll do it later. First, let's take in all the money from these charges and then we'll give you funding slowly, drip feed it. No, no, no. The money is available right now, certified, okay? That's the difference, that's the difference. That's the difference. So again, don't fall into the fashion. Is your, let me ask you this, is this your goal? Should this be your goal? No, absolutely not. Your goal should be, can I trade, period. If I can trade, then it is a choice to say, I make money for myself or I'll make money with a company and they'll give me more money, I'll grow faster. And they might even give me some support where it will even hone my skills even better. It's a choice. It is not a, oh, if you don't trade for a company, you're nobody. No, that, that's nonsense. This can be you. You can trade for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I want you guys to tell me right here, right now, before we end the call, will you be afraid if you are not funded? No. Stay strong. Be smart. You don't care about the funding. You want to be better. You want to learn how to trade. You want to cross that hurdle. You want to shorten that journey because I just explained the whole journey to you. You might be seeing yourself in that journey early. You might be seeing yourself in the journey in the middle. You might be seeing yourself in the journey towards the end. Can you use the words early, middle, or end to let me know what part of the journey are you in? The one that I showed you. 
okay? I see a few ends, I see a lot of middles. Good, so at least you guys have gone through the early stages of like trying this, trying that, and going through all that nonsense, right? Okay, good, good, good. I see a few earlies in there. Stay strong, buddy. You got, you got to get it to the other side. You just got to be mentally strong and find a firm you can stick with. Find a firm you can stick with. Having that said, having that said, many of you guys who said you guys are not students at Urban Forex, if you want to be a student at Urban Forex and you want to start your career or your journey, you want to start your undergrad, if you want to call it, before you go into your master's and PhD level, if you really want to start lift off and look at the markets in a right way, get the right balance going, then I would recommend the Mastering Price Section 2.0 that we have. I would also recommend the Mastering Price Section 1.0. They come together as a bundle that you can pick up, but I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is an eight week long program that I train you on what to look for week after week through videos, okay? Those videos are for you to keep forever. They don't expire, it's, it's lifetime access. It comes with a 30 day money back guarantee in case you say, uh, Naveen, I like the way you teach, but I just don't like your brown face. That's perfectly fine. I can accept that reasoning as well. You can just email us back, you get your money back. <laughs> but we're all about risk control. You should do risk control as well. I wanna get in in something I know I'm gonna win. If I'm not gonna win, I want my money back. Good, that is a risk control as a trader should do, as a trader should do. So it's an eight week long program. I walk you week after week. You have support all the time. Even after your eight weeks are over, you still have support. If you have the course, you have the support. So that, that support's always gonna be there. If you have any questions, anytime. Every week, examples, every, sorry, every day, examples of what you've learned keeps coming out. Remember, practice makes perfect. Repetition is the key. You do it over and over again from the live market, these examples come. They're not past history from the live market. Practice over and over and over again, and things will start to sink in. You'll start to see things in a certain way. And then once your brain starts seeing things in a certain way, you're like, I got it. I know where this is heading. I know what I'm going to do next. I know how this is all laid up. Got it, got it. It's all piecing in together. It's all piecing in together. All this stuff, we had originally priced it last year okay, at $249. And to help during the COVID situation and everything, we'd reduce the price to make it more affordable at $149. But for this specific webinar, what we're gonna do is for the first 20 people, I'm gonna give you a special 20% discount that you can pick up this program for, and you can get it for less than $120, less than $120. So if you wanna pick this up, I'm gonna give you the link right now. It's www dot urbanforex.com forward slash webinar along with this course that you're going to be doing with me we're going to be doing a private webinar together it's going to be just like this we're going to talk about all the material in the course i'm going to give you shortcuts here and there but logical stuff that you can use instantaneously so that's going to be behind closed doors it's going to be only me and students uh, so we can talk a little bit more openly we can talk a little bit more. We can go behind the scenes and talk about stuff I can't publicly speak about, okay? So you'll find that very, very useful. You'll find that very, very useful. So before we leave, can I ask a simple question? Was today's webinar worth it? Was today's webinar worth it? Okay, this is sort of like a mantra that I personally have, is if you're gonna take time off to attend a webinar, you need to learn something. Okay, I personally hated webinars where I don't learn anything or there's like two minutes of good information and I'm sitting there for 60 minutes. I'm like, come on already. I don't like that. So I wanna make sure that I pass that on to you guys too, is that when you come, you learn something, okay? So that's my personal mission and that's why I always ask you guys. So good, good, I'm glad. Thank you very much for your feedback. Thank you very much for your feedback. I'll see many of you guys. Okay, I see a lot of you guys have already picked up the Mastering Price Section course. So there's only eight more left. There's only eight more left at the discounted price at 20% off. Um, thank you all for coming in here, taking the time to be here. Um, I really appreciate uh, you know uh, you taking time off and being here. I know some of you guys are just very late, uh, late in the night or very early in the morning. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys being here.
I won't let you down. I never have, never will. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time. Cheers.